welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News. And today we're starting it up with a good one. That today is International Men's Day and it's actually a day set aside to celebrate men for their good works, responsibilities and a whole lot about men. And today I happen to be in the studios of Joy FM. I'm here to talk to the man Lexus Bill. He is a radio television host. He's, he's everything. He's an <laughs> MC. He's a health. Look, he's everything. And of course, I'm here to just find out from him what this day means to him. Hi, and welcome hello, to Let's Talk Show, Doreen. Hi, how are you? And hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Mm, yeah, we are you. good. So, International Men's Day, Lexus, yeah. what does this day mean to you? Okay, so I'll tell you what this day means to me as a man. And for starters, I'll show you what a real man does. A real man doesn't sit down for a woman to stand. Oh, so, yes. there you go. You can have my seat. <laughs> so we have the conversation. So um, International Men's Day is really a day set aside for me as a reminder of all the things that men need to do in society. I think that the onus most of the time is on men to ensure that there's a safe society, there's a you know a, a very morally upright society and whatnot. So for me, it's a day that we men need to come together whatever values that we hold dear to us we need to share and you know celebrate all that we've achieved as men okay. Lexus as a man mm, how did the ladies treat you no I think the women are, are really amazing women are the most amazing creatures uh, since creation we can say that uh, we are never complete without uh, our women so the, my Bible tells me that God had to send in a woman to make me complete. You know what I mean? So I, we can't overemphasize the, uh, the power of women, even on this day. So for me, it's a day to celebrate all that we are and all the completeness that women actually are to us. Hmm, all right. So they are to Lexus, is there any woman there? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, come on, Doreen. Uh, <laughs> when, when, when is the wedding bells? <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> You allowed only one question on that, and you've already asked it. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so that's the man Lexus Bill, and he yeah. actually proved of being a good man and a sweet one as such. So, Lexus, thank you yeah. so much for talking thank to you so us. Much for to all the wonderful women out there, thanks for celebrating us and making us wonderful men. All right. So now we are moving straight to find out from one other amazing man. I call him a father. I call him a friend. I call him a producer. His name is Philip Nye. Um, happy International Men's Day to you, Philip Nye. Okay, so what should I say? Thank you very much. All right. Um, Philip, how <laughs> special... Okay, same to you. Uh, Philip, how special is this day to you? Well, for me, um, it's a good thing that um, a day has been set aside to celebrate um, men, you know, um, across the globe. Yeah, so we're happy. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we, the women, we are treating you well, right? Really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It's okay, we'll manage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's um, Philip Nye. He is a producer here at Joy FM. And now we're moving straight to talk to more men on what is going on. So I guess we are going to hit the FM. All right. So there you go, Hits FM. Hi, Prince, the dawn of all dawns, and I find him here, right here at Hits FM. So I start with him. Today is International Men's Day, yes. and I've actually had the privilege to be treated like a woman at Joy FM. But um, the dawn, what does this day mean to you as a man? Well, it brings out the responsibilities of a true man, mm. not those guys who hide behind ladies and pretend as if they are men. As a true man, you must stand for the house. You must be able to defend your home. You must be able to provide for your family and your wife. That is what a true man does. Not the other way around lately. All guys wanting to hide behind successful women. They are not men. They are just males. If you want to be called a man, you have to behave like a man. So for me, it shows responsibility. How to be brave. How to defend your family and your lady. That's what true men do. Not only the talk. Walk the talk. Prince the Don Chega is the head of productions here at Hits 1039 FM and also at Doma FM. And now let's go to the man, Mike Gizo, who is also a producer and a presenter here at Hits FM. Gizo, what does this day mean to you? Um, basically, celebrating men um, because um, we've done so well. You know, when it is International Women's Day, we see, you know, the noise and then the buzz about celebrating women. But when it comes to men, you know, it's like it's on the low. And so for us, we are proud as men, we are celebrating, regardless, we are still celebrating as men, and so we're happy. Mm. All right, so that's the man, my Gizo, and now we are moving straight to find another man in our newsroom, and I think Nathaniel Ato, yeah, just follow me. Where is he? Where is Nathaniel? 
All right, so there he is. And that's the man, Nathaniel Atto. Hi, and of course, welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz. And today is International Men's Day. Nathaniel, what does this day mean to you? International Men's Day. You know, I started seeing a couple of um, posts on social media. Hey, you look fabulous, by the way. Oh, uh, thank you. The birthday vibe. Eh? <laughs> oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. thank you. I'm loving all of this. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should do a photo shoot. Uh. I will. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, it's... Uh, oh, let me stand and join oh, you. Oh, know, this is the second time I'm actually experiencing this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, International Men's Day. For me, a bit of a good step so that uh, men all over the world, once again, are reminded of their place as the people who put society on their shoulders and push and run. Um, God has created us in a certain way that we have to apply mind with energy and, and push. Um, women do it in a little bit of a different way, but I'm glad. I mean, as a man, I, we all like the acknowledgement. Don't get it twisted. I mean, I've always said, I've always spoken about how, how tough it is to accept that Mother's Day is such a big thing and it's like poles poles ahead of father's day so it's uh it's just a day of reflection and you know look at just looking at the way we're impacting society and the kind of role that we're playing and whether we're playing it well all over the world not only here in this place that we find ourselves so that's the man Nathaniel Atto, and that's how we are all celebrating International Men's Day. But this week and has been an exciting one for most of our artists, to be precise. We can talk of the likes of Shatawale, Stone Boy, Sarkodie, making Ghana proud. And today we're going to be talking about one Africa concert which took place in Dubai. Sarkodie, Stone Boy did make us proud. And I was not there. I don't know if you were there, but if you were not there, it still went on. It was great. And uh, let's take a look at what happened in Dubai. Africa is in the building.
making us proud out of Ghana, Stone Boy and Sakori. And of course, big up to you, Shatawale, as well. Um, you said some few things that um, a lot of Ghanaians are not happy about, but uh, we'll wait for you in the village. So when you come back, we can talk more on that. And still on Let's Talk Showbiz, Instruma is a reality show by Adam TV. And yes, this is where we have our young ones actually singing some good high life tunes from some of our popular musicians in Ghana. It's been a great journey for these young ones and still there's no eviction who will be evicted well we don't know yet but so far they have been making us proud on the reality show so let's check out some highlights of the event that took place yesterday <laughs> to share with you hopefully from tomorrow through to Friday because there are a lot of activities happening this week. We can talk about the Afrimers, we can talk about Mr. Easy trying to do something for upcoming artists. Well, my name is Doreen Avio and I will be right here same time tomorrow on Joy News on Multi-TV. Do have a wonderful evening. <laughs>